Hello, welcome back, it's Lynx. Today we're gonna to be talking about being an artist or a musician under capitalism. Very common to have anxieties and fears in this career. I mean, it's very all over the place and it's not quite as linear as perhaps many other jobs are, or, you know, stable. I think one of the biggest ways to get over our fears, at least make peace with them, is to try and understand where they come from and at least be aware that you are thinking this way because of a specific reason. Admit to yourself that you are going through this and will probably always go through it and that it's okay and it's completely normal. Once you have that awareness, you can line out steps to try and make peace with it and push yourself past that like major blockage in the road keeping you from feeling joy or happiness or the day-to-day -day contentment in pursuing what you love or you know what you thought would make you happy this video is basically just going to be about your mindset if you're having a lot of fears and anxieties as a musician or artist take a step back and, and think about what truly is uh making you feel this way i've been thinking a lot about perception and how we choose to perceive ourselves, where we stand and how others perceive us. We all want to be loved and accepted for who we are. We want people to be proud of us, right? I think that's just a basic human desire. It's hard when you are pursuing an alternative career choice. It may be hard for you to feel acceptance, self-acceptance and feel as though others aren't judging you. We're all on our own journey. We're all trying to make peace with ourselves and others at the end of the day and just try and enjoy our time on this spinning rock for however long we end up being here. So your life is not going to look the same as say your friends in traditional jobs, okay? It's just never gonna look like that. Something that's very, very important is to not compare yourself to those people. In my case right now, I'm at an age where a lot of my friends that work in corporate jobs are really just climbing the career ladder. They're doing very well. All you could ever want for your friends is to have them feel good and achieve their dreams and goals. But if you're an artist and you're constantly surrounded by friends in these types of jobs, you cannot compare where your life is heading to where their lives are. So I encourage you to have friends in all sorts of different places in life. Along with having friends that work traditional nine to five, I think it's very important for you to have friends that are musicians and that are in your boat as well. <laughs> because it's really important for musicians and artists to support each other. You guys know how it is. You guys know what it's like to watch people climb a career ladder and for you to be like your ladder is more like it's not a ladder it's like a never ending spiral of up and down escalators that is just simply infinite and just goes around in circles forever it's just not gonna be the same i encourage you to to meet other musicians other artists and to be open and honest and vulnerable with them about how it is because if you don't have that type of support, it can be really hard to not feel incredibly alone in this. We don't want that. Really try and surround yourself with all types of people, of course, but especially people that are going through what you're going through. Because trust me, they need to talk to you too. The other thing is I encourage you to also step back and try and define success for you in your own genuine terms. What does success mean to you? Because to a lot of people that are not musicians, they're gonna think success for you is to win a Grammy or to have worldwide acclaim or to be playing big shows all the time or to have millions and millions of streams, etc. That's what people define success as a musician in our society. If you'd step back and think, is that truly what you want. And it doesn't matter if that's what other people want for you. It doesn't matter if that is the standard that they are holding you to. It does not matter what anybody else thinks and what anyone else's perception of success is. The only opinion that matters is your own. And if you think about all scenarios, not just the scenario in which you win a Grammy or the scenario where you may get a few hundred streams on a song and that was success for you. It could be that you're just choosing to choose music every day, whether that's 
teaching lessons or you're able to work a certain job just to be able to afford to live on this earth, unfortunately, and to be able to still make music with the time you may have afterwards. No matter what your definition is, it's really important for you to become aware of it. If you have a plan, it most likely will not happen on your timeline. It will not happen in the way you want it to happen. It's not going to live up to the expectations that you have. I have a whole video on letting your expectations of yourself go and please check that out if you want to hear more on that. Again, I just urge you to consider all ways that this could go, all directions that your career can take. If you hold on for dear life to this idea that, you know, you're gonna be rich and famous and if, you know, you're going down a path where that's not seemingly going to happen, you're gonna be miserable if that is the standard of success for you. If you're always just chasing this never-ending and extremely difficult goal, you're gonna make yourself crazy and you're always gonna think that you're not doing enough. So if you bring the goals down and you set attainable goals here and there, your perception of yourself is gonna be a whole lot healthier. You're gonna see little successes and the little progress that you are making and you're gonna find contentment in your day-to-day -day routine. You're gonna see the growth that's happening right before your eyes. If you're so set on this up here and getting rich and famous and la 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 because that's what success is as a musician, you're gonna miss all of that. You're gonna miss all the beautiful little wins that you make daily or weekly or whatever. You're gonna miss all of that and that's what it's all about. If you just get rich and famous, okay, now what? You know, then you're gonna, it's just gonna never end. It's gonna be, okay, what's next? Focus on the journey. Focus on the small wins. I think a lot of times what we are searching for is peace. We want fulfillment in our lives. So think about ways that what you're doing right now, like today, will allow you to feel that way. Paying attention to the present moment. Choosing to navigate through your day in a way that's gonna help you feel more fulfilled. I really encourage you to be authentic in what you're making as well. Think about if you're gonna feel fulfilled at the end of the day for making stuff say you don't wanna make in order to just become this rich and famous person. And that's fine if you're making music you wanna make and that happens, like hell yeah, all the power to you. What I'm really saying is I don't want you to sacrifice your like authenticity and dignity, let's say, to reach a certain level of career success when you like despise what you're making. Make what you want to make. But if you're making music you hate and that happens, I assure you, you're not going to feel fulfilled at the end of your day. You will constantly be searching for another way to feel fulfilled. You'll be upset that you're making stuff you don't like and you're going to be miserable that way too. If you're making music you love, you're going to feel genuine excitement and contentment. If you see the progress, that's going to feel good. That's going to be real fulfillment for you. Career validation cannot come from anybody else but you. So if you stay authentic, you stay true to yourself, you keep your dignity, and you stay in it for the long, long, long game, that's going to be a lot more of a peaceful experience than constantly searching for validation in how others perceive you. Because everyone's going to have a different opinion. And keep in mind, a lot of like people you may know see success as rich and famous. If you're constantly turning to other people, or your parents, or a partner, or validation and for acceptance in what you're doing, you will never feel fulfilled and there's always gonna be somebody else you're trying to impress. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If it was helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you again and I'll see you next week.